Hello everyone, Michael back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a Power App to your SharePoint site. If you enjoy SharePoint Teams, Power Apps, and Power Automate videos, feel free to subscribe because we put out more videos in those areas. So let's get into the video. You want to add a Power App to your SharePoint site. So let's go ahead and go into Power Apps. There's two ways to pretty much do this. First way is going to be a hyperlink on the sidebar. So I'm in Power Apps right now. I'm going to be using my marketing app in the marketing SharePoint. I click on the details. I have the web link right here and I have the app ID. The first thing we're gonna wanna copy the web link. So if I just uh, pasted this in the search bar, it'll bring me to my Power App. As long as the users have permission, they'll be able to access that Power App. So we're going to go ahead and want to add this to the sidebar. So if I click on edit, let's say I want to have marketing power app for the display name, open a new tab. So it makes the user open in a new tab. And then you want to paste the power app address. So that'd be the purple dot details, the web link right here. So if we do that and paste it, we'll now have a new tab on the side that says marketing power app we'll go ahead and click on save so if we click on the marketing power app on the sidebar we now have the power app on our sharepoint site that users are able to easily access so another way you can actually have your power app is if you want to create a new page so if we go ahead and create a new page on the sharepoint site click on blank then for the title, we can just say marketing power app. You can add your text here. I'm actually going to remove this text because I just want the power app to display on the screen. So that will be the click in on the plus icon right here. And you want to search for power app. So we now have this power app screen and on the right hand side we have a pop out it was asking for the app web link or id i tried pasting the web app link well that didn't work so i'm going to use the app id so if you go down here in power apps you have the app id right underneath the qr code so let's go ahead and paste that and now you can see it gave us a preview of the power app so i'm going to suggest using the ID of the app because that seems to work. So we go ahead and click on publish. And copy the address for this. And add it to our sidebar for users to use. So let's go ahead and click on edit. I'll remove the previous one. So we want this Power app to be inside the SharePoint. We don't want it to open a new tab and go to Power App site. Going to say Power App for the display name. Click on OK. If you want to have it open a new tab, you can click on that button. But I just want it to where users go in, they go ahead and click on the Power App. Let's say they have to like document something daily, like just update a few numbers. They're able to, they're able to go in and fully use this power app so this power app just searches for people right now so as you can see the input field actually works within the sharepoint and you can do everything you need to so i have a create report for download i don't think it's working right now yeah so as you can see the power app's working inside your sharepoint so that'll be the two ways you're able to add a power app to your SharePoint site for users to access. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below, and I'll catch you in the next one.